Now that we have a much better idea of what arguments are, and they're obviously the objects that we're going to be examining throughout this course, if you think about it, if it were a biology course, you know, the arguments are the organisms that we're going to be dissecting. And let's see, the goal of the course is to be able to you know, do what we're going to call argument analysis. And what does that amount to? Well, part of it is understanding or interpreting an argument presented in a passage. And this involves trying to figure out what the author means, understanding exactly what the author means identifying the premises and the conclusion and I usually try to say that as first identify the conclusion the point of the argument and then try to figure out what the premises are because if you notice these things don't come numbered to us the person the none of the writers of the letters that we examine said my first premise is XYZ and my second premise is ABC and my conclusion is nobody put it that way so it takes some work to figure out what their reasons are and what their point is sometimes we're gonna find that we're gonna to have to fill in unstated assumptions or premises that they're gonna take something to be common knowledge or that everybody would accept and they're not gonna they're not going to actually state it in addition to which when we start reading passages we're going to find premises and conclusions mixed in with all kinds of other writing so we're going to have to be able to kind of separate out the premises and the conclusion from the other material that's sometimes presented and this is all a process that we call reconstructing the argument. And notice we say it's reconstructing the argument. It is we're going to reconstruct the argument and the reason we're going to reconstruct it is if we put it back together we can be pretty precise in our evaluation of the argument and our analysis that is so our two steps in argument analysis reconstruct the argument and the reason we're going to reconstruct it in this way is because ultimately once we have it reconstructed we're going to evaluate the argument we're going to decide is it a good argument is it a bad argument is it one whose conclusion we should accept or not and just to summarize that that is the ultimate goal in this course is to take us through the two steps of argument analysis the first step reconstructing the argument and the second step is to evaluate the argument so that is our goal through the semester to gain expertise in these two steps